look, it's the black holocaust, I knew it was prophecy a thousand times worse than the Jewish atrocities Uneven playing field, there'll never be a fair score Cause in 1619, that's when they declared war We the 12 tribes, the ones that the promise reaches My Negro Book of Matthew chapter 4 verse 4 uh -huh. But he answered and said It is written uh -huh. Man shall not live by bread alone That's right, read on But by every word that proceeded out of the house Out of the mouth of God That's what we should live by Every word of God, man. All right, that's from Genesis all the way to Revelation. That's what we should live by. Give me Ecclesiastes uh, uh, 12 and 13. That's what we supposed to be living by, man. All right? Our people out here got this mentality, oh, I got to eat. They got to need some money. I need to eat. Blase, all it. You don't realize men do not live by bread alone. Come. All these carnal things is not what we're supposed to be living by. We're supposed to be living by the word of the Most High God. Yeah, then he'll bless right. you. Matter of fact, you got, you got, uh, you got that. You get me Proverbs 16 and 3. Go ahead, read that. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. Read, read on. Out. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Read. Fear God uh -huh. and keep His commandments. That's simple. That's what we live by. That's what we're supposed to keep. That's the conclusion of the matter, man. For you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we're supposed to fear the Most High speak and keep loud, His brother. commandments. Right? I got you. Okay. Read it again. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Uh -huh. Fear God uh -huh. and keep his commandments. Fear God and keep his commandments. That's what life is about, man. All right? Our people need to understand that there's more to life than getting some money, nigga. There's more than life than getting high, getting drunk, chasing hoes, man. There's more to life for you sister than trying to find a ball player or a damn rapper. That's right, huh? It's about keeping the laws of the most high God. That's what this is all about, right? Read that. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 3. Uh huh. Commit thy works unto the Lord. Commit thy works unto the Most High, right? Our people want to commit our works unto the world to serve sin, to serve our flesh, to serve this damn devil. But the Bible says, commit your works unto the Lord. Read on. And thy thoughts shall be established. And your thoughts shall be established. The Most High God knows what you want. He knows what you need. He knows what's good for you. So he's going to give you blessings accordingly if you commit your works unto him. That's what they never taught our people. So our people spend their whole damn lives chasing a damn dream. Ch spend their whole lives chasing sin, being evil, being a damn servant to their flesh. Not realizing we supposed to serve. Matter of fact, get that in 10. Matthew 4 and 10. Now is a good time to come out, right? We supposed to serve is the most high. Not sin, not dope, not money, not this damn devil, not ourselves. Right. We supposed to serve the most high God. So read that. Uh -huh. Book of Matthew chapter 4, verse 10. Uh-huh. Then said Yahweh Shai unto him, Read. Get thee his, Satan. Get away from me, Satan. Read. For it is written, uh -huh. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God. Read. And him only shalt thou serve. Him only. The Most High Yahweh alone, a God as he saying in the Hebrew, shalt we serve. It's that simple. But we never taught that. We went to church all our whole lives, and we were never taught that. We were lied to, and we've been led to believe a lie. And everything that we do in our lives now totally reflects that. Take a look at the state of our culture, right? They got a show on Revolt now uh, 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 with Joe Budden and Remy Ma, state of the culture. The state of the culture is totally destroyed, man. Look at our people, man. Out of their damn minds. Why? Because we're not understanding that we need to commit our works to the Lord. That the Most High, Yahweh alone, is who we should be service to, right? And we are to keep the commandments. It's our duty, right? What does the word duty mean when you deal with the etymology? It means debt, meaning we owe it to the Most High to do exactly what he said, That's to right. keep his commandments. We owe it to him. He's the creator, ain't he? If he made all of us, don't we owe him? But see, we walk around with a damn mindset that God owe us something. You got our people that don't deny God because they say, well, I don't know. My grandma died, and I just don't like it, man. So you know what? To hell with God. Not realizing, what do he owe you? He gave you your grandmother. Don't you know that? He gave her life, and he gave you life. So he don't owe you a damn thing. You owe him everything. And your debt, your duty is to keep the commandments and fear him, man. That's, right. that's, that's right. your duty, according to the Bible, man. And that's what we ought to do. To call our people, we have a call of duty. A lot of our people play that damn game all day. Call of duty, right? Niggas spend 13 straight hours on call of duty. You're not realizing you got a call of duty from God to keep his commandments and faith in his son. Hamashiach, you know it's Jesus Christ. That's the duty every so-called black, Hispanic, and native Indian has. Thus saith the Most High, a duty to keep the laws of God, to be God's loyal servant, 
to love him with all our mind, body, and soul. That's our duty, right? That's right. Uh, you got a precept? Right. Give me that in uh, Deuteronomy uh, 27 uh, to the thousandth generation. Or is it a curse? Curse be he that confirmed to do not all the words of the law, matter of fact. Get that in uh, Leviticus 23, man. All right? Because our people need to be reintroduced and re-educated as to this Bible and God and what it's all about. Because quite frankly, we've been lied to, we've been deceived in these churches for far too long. I'm talking about centuries, man. Not like they've been lying to us for five years. They've been lying for centuries, man. Really about half a millennia, our people be getting lied to out here, man. And here, it's here's where the buck stops through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Here's where the truth is shining, man. Right? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 27, verse 26. Uh-huh. Curse be he that confirmeth not all the words of this law. See that? And our people are not currently confirming to do all the words of this law. Finish it. To do them. To what? To do them. We're not doing that right now. That's why we're cursed. That's why we're destroyed. Because we all entered into a covenant with our God that we were going to follow these laws. All the forefathers of all the black, Hispanic, and native Indians. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Zebulon, Ephraim, Simeon, we all entered into that covenant with our God, right? And now what? Now we're not keeping that covenant. So the Bible says, read it from the top. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 27, verse 26. Uh-huh. Cursed be he. Cursed, right? That's why we're cursed right now. Because we are not doing the law, statute, and commandments as we actually entered into a contract with God to do. Huh. Period, right? Hold that. Get, get uh, 15, and, uh, 28 and 15. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter uh -huh. 28, verse 15. Read. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt hearken not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If we will not listen to God. See, what you don't understand, what a lot of our people don't understand about the Torah is it's a contract. It's a contract between the Israelites and the God of the Israelites, whose name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. Right? right? It's a contract. So if you a contract come with reprisals if you violate the contract, right? You know, you don't just get to violate a contract and nothing happens. Say some, you might have a contract, a breach of contract, get you a lawsuit. You got to pay money. Well, a breach of contract between us as a people and our God is this. Read on. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, Read on. that all these curses, all these what? Curses. Curses. Right? Read it again. That all these curses, all these curses, read, shall come upon thee. So the reprise on the contract that we made with God is, if we didn't listen to do all the commandments and abide by the contract, then we would be cursed. All these curses would come upon us, read. And overtake thee. And what? And overtake thee. Not just come upon you, overtake you. We've been overtaken as a people. That's why we're in this state right now in condition as a people. We've been overtaken. Exactly what God said he was going to do if we didn't listen. And here we are continually not listening and wondering why we still overtake it. It's because we're not listening to the voice of the Lord our God, God. which we should live by all the things that proceeded out of the mouth of God, which are the law, statutes, and commandments, man. Right. Period. Right? Read. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Matter of fact, let me ju jump to um about uh 31. Jump to like 31. Still like 30. 30. There we go. Uh huh. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, verse thirty. Read. Thou shalt betroth the wife. Thou shalt betroth a wife. You have a wife, right? Read. And another man shall lie with her. Ain't that happened in slavery? Did the white man master was raping your damn wife? That's your woman, right? Here he is. He taking her at his will. They showed you that on um um the Butler, right? On the movie The Butler, you had a uh, David Banner and you had Mariah Carey, right? And they, they were playing the parents to a Forrest Whitaker's character when he was young, and then he went and took Mariah Carey. Then when he came out, uh, here, uh, uh, David Banner want to speak up and say something, what happened? He shot him dead. You see that? That's something that we've been subjugated to in this place, right? So go ahead. Thou shalt build a house, uh -huh. and thou shalt not dwell therein. Our people built this whole damn country, right? Built that damn White House. Who, which one of us has ruled out of that White House, right? Which one of us has been the president out of that White House, right? No, not even one. You know why? Because his ancestors didn't go through slavery. He's an uh, immigrant from Kenya, right? right? They never got put on that boat. Yeah, I'm Kenyan too, I know. Yeah. Okay, you see, see what I'm saying? So you know, it ain't the same, right? So read. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, uh -huh. and thou shalt not gather the grapes thereof. Skip to, what, what verse you at? Uh, that's the end of 30. 30, okay, skip to what, uh, 32. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 32. Read. Thy sons and thy daughters. Thy sons and daughters, read. Shall be given unto another people. Shall be given to somebody else. 
that happened in slavery, and guess what? It's still happening right now. CPS come in your house right now and take your kids. Give them to somebody else, right? At the border, the tribe of Issachar, the so-called Mexican, they was taking their kids, putting their kids in damn dog cages. Sleep in the dog cage, right? Go ahead. And thy eyes shall look uh -huh. and fail with longing for them. You see that your eyes look and you're looking at them cart your kids off and they fail with longing because you want your kids and you miss them. Go ahead, bring that back up. Uh, well, and thy eyes shall look uh -huh. and fail with longing for them. Yeah, because you miss your kids, right, Reed? All the day long. Uh huh. And there shall be no might in thy head. But there's nothing you can do about it. In slavery, when they was grabbing our kids and they were selling them off to another plantation, what can you do? Nothing. There's no might in your hand. You don't have no power or no ability to stop it, right? Same way now. CPS come get your kids. They take them, put them in foster care, put them in a damn group home, and there's nothing you can do about it. You have no power or might in your hand, right? So this is proof that the Most High is real and we're the people of the Most High because all the things that he said was going to happen have happened to us for violating his law, statute, and commandments. So it only makes sense that we come back to him and begin to keep his law, statute, and commandments, right? Read. The fruit of thy land. Uh-huh, matter of fact, skip to uh, 37. Yeah. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 37. Uh-huh. And thou shalt become an astonishment. Uh-huh. A proverb and a byword. That's what we are. We're an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. Every nation, of the, uh, every people on the earth, they got a joke about us, man, right? You go to Japan, they put blackface on, they put an afro damn wig on, they make it fun of us. We're an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. They got a million a jokes. Here. Go ahead, King. Uh, an Ammonite wench told me one time that they call us doji. What's that mean? Dirt people. Madness, man. Yeah. The dirt, the wow. good old, hey, the good old dirt. Well, remember um that controversial video that Sardinetta did when that that French uh, uh, Chinese girl came and they asked her what's a nigga and she said she pointed around. You guys are niggas, is what she said. You see what I'm saying? And he spazzed on her. YouTube and I'm taking a video down, but Alex Jones and certain white media outlets they were trying to demonize. But the, the, but this good girl is gonna come up and straight say, oh y'all are the niggas and just say it like it's cool. How am I supposed to take that? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. We'll be supposed to just let that happen? Hey, look, on 125th Street in Harlem? Now, that will be uncivilized for them to just let that pass. You see what I'm saying? But see, that's what the devil expects you to do. But we're an astonishment and a proverb and a byword. These damn Chinese people, these Japanese who barely see, they got something to say about you. They come over here and set up a damn uh, uh, flea-ridden uh, uh, a business restaurant in your neighborhood, and you put their ass through college, and they got the nerve to say something about you, right? mad at somebody going and stealing some uh, one dollar braiding hair out the back of their damn store man right but you got something to say about me that's madness but that's showing you we become a proverb an astonishment and a bible read that again the book of deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 37 uh-huh and thou shalt become an astonishment uh -huh. a proverb and a bible that's right that's what we are now even uh they had uh, these devils from australia well brother i know drive lift these devils from australia they came to san diego and they were asking about it. So all that stuff they say about the mexicans true you see that all of our people are, are subjugated to this, man. All of our people are the laughing stock of all the rest of the nations. They all got something to say about us. They all think they're better than us, but they all couldn't live in this damn world if it wasn't for us. If it wasn't for our labor, if it wasn't for our land, if it wasn't for our contributions, our inventions, our minds, they wouldn't be able to live at all on this earth, right? Go ahead. Precept. Uh, this is the book of First King, chapter 9, verse 7. Uh -huh. Then will I cut off Israel out of out of the land uh -huh. which I have given them. That's right. So he cut us off. He took us out of our own land of Israel. Read. In this house, uh -huh. which I have hallowed for my name, uh -huh. will I cast out of my sight. Uh -huh. And Israel shall be a, a proverb uh -huh. and a bright word. That's right. We nothing but niggas is fixed now. Right? Read. Among all nations. Amongst all nations, they got a word to describe us. Something negative to say about us. Right? Amongst all nations. But that shows that we are the people of this Bible. And no one else is, right? Read. All right. All right, Con, go back to uh, Deuteronomy 28. All right, cool. 37. Uh huh. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 37, at Read. the top. And then, and then thou shalt become astonished, uh -huh. a proverb, Read. and a byword on. among all nations. That's right. Whether the Lord shall lead thee. Uh huh. Uh, let's jump to 45. 45, 46. Go ahead. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter. 28 verse 45 read moreover all these curses shall come upon all thee, these curses came upon us read and shall pursue thee and shall what pursue thee. you can think you running from the curses all you want you go to another country 
you go to the damn suburbs, you go anywhere, them curses gonna meet you there. Guaranteed, right, Reed? And overtake me. And what? And overtake it's gonna me. gonna overtake you, Reed. Till thou be destroyed. Uh huh. Because thou hearkenest not until the voice of the Lord thy He's God. He's re-emphasizing over and over. You don't wanna listen to me, I'm gonna destroy you, period. And now we take a look at our people. We out here out of our damn minds, on drugs, without a, any sense in the damn world. They have a chain smoke in Newports. I mean, Newports, Negro smoke. It's insane, man. Chain smoke in Newports. You know, it say right on the Surgeon General warning. This can kill you. Still smoking, right? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's a fool on the other, right? That's how it is. And, and all these other drugs as well that our people are doing. You know good and damn well what it does to people. But here you are, you still signing up to smoke it. You still gonna do it. The hell is wrong with you, right? You, you, you got Pimp C, uh, not Pimp C, uh, well, Pimp C died from it. What's, what's from the man? Uh, uh, DJ Screw. DJ Screw, right? He died off of drinking lean. And what do these niggas do? They call what killed him after his name and still drink it. That's insanity, man. You gotta show me another group of people that do something that's stupid, man. That's crazy. But that shows and proves we're destroyed right now, man. Read. To keep his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee. And it shall be upon thee for a sign uh -huh. and, and for a wonder. See, it's upon us for a sign and a wonder to show that we are the people of the Bible, that we are the Israelites. It's a sign and a wonder, these curses. This is how we are to identify ourselves in these signs. Right, read. And upon thy seed uh -huh. forever. Forever, man. It's going to be on us until we repent, until we come back to the laws of God. Until we start pleasing God again, we're going to be cursed. But this curse is going to be an identifying marker to show who the Israelites are. Ah, right, God. read. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with uh -huh. joyfulness and with gladness of heart uh -huh. for the abundance of all things. That's right. That's what we're supposed to do. If you want something in life, People say, oh, you got to work hard for it. Huh? But plenty of our people don't work hard, and they still broke, right? If you want abundance in life, you're supposed to serve the Most High God. That's first and foremost in principle, serving your house, man. Right? That's it on that? Oh, yeah, keep going on that. Therefore, therefore shall thou serve thy enemy, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee. Right, the white man was sent against us. Here we are in America serving him this self-same day, right? Read. In hunger. Uh-huh. And in thirst. Read. And in nakedness. That's right. And in want of all things. So everything that we want, we got to go to them to get it. Right? Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Didn't he do that? Didn't he put a yoke of iron on the black and Hispanic neck so oh. he wouldn't run away from them? Right? He did it. Right? So that's how we know who we are. Right, Read. Until he have destroyed thee. Uh-huh. Yeah, skip to uh, 53. Read 53, 54. Go ahead. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 53. Uh-huh. And thou shalt eat the fruit of thy own body. Uh-huh. No, 54. So like it. 54. All right. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 54. Uh-huh. So that the man that is tender among the you. The man that's tender among you, read. And very delicate. We used to value our brothers, right? Read. His eyes shall be evil toward his brother. Now, two brothers walking down the street, they mean mugging each other, waiting on who going to make the first damn move, right? Your <laughs> eye is now evil toward your brother. Whose life you once valued, right? Read. And toward the wife of his bosom. Your eyes evil toward your woman, right? Read. And toward the remnant of his children. The remnant. Now your eyes are evil toward your kids. Now read this, read. Which he shall leave. Which he shall leave. A lot of brothers are running out on their kids, right? All of this is a part of the prophecy that God said would happen to me. It's how we know who we are. We're the only people that suffer in all this collectively. Who else is doing that, right? We had a Jewish man. We debated a Jewish man. We said, okay, let's read this. Uh, do y'all got a problem with single parent households in the Jewish community? Oh, well, no, not really. Oh, okay. So how in the hell is this you, right? Read. So that he will not give, a, so he will not give to any of them of the flesh of his children uh -huh. whom he shall eat. Uh -huh. Let's go to uh, jump to 64. Uh, and we're going to read 64 all the way down to 68. Uh, go ahead. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 64. Read. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Uh huh. We've been scattered, right? In slavery, on them ships, among all people, right? Read. From one end of the earth, uh -huh. even until the other. All the way, man. A lot of people don't know. The first thing that happened, they grabbed the Tainos of Puerto Rico, sent them to Spain. They came to Africa, they got brothers, they sent us to America. They took some of the Tainos and sent them to Hawaii, man. All right? To work. You ever seen Dole? Everybody knows Dole, right? They have Puerto Rican Taino Indians working on that damn Dole plantation, man. You see that? So they sent us all over the damn earth, right? Read. 
And there, there should serve other gods. Uh huh. And there we serve other gods. We worship this white boy, Caesar Bojir. We follow the Kaaba stone, right? Read. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Uh huh. But they were not the god of our forefathers. Our God made no, made it known to us when He brought us out of Egypt who He was when we made this contract with Him, right? Yahweh in the Hebrew, read. Even wood and stone. Uh huh. And among these nations shall thou find no ease. So when we get scattered, we're not gonna find no ease. That's why we don't have no damn ease in this place. Our people are going through a consistent pace of hell. A steady dose of hell is consistently being administered to our people. A steady dose, right? Read. Neither shall thy neither shall the sole of thy foot have uh -huh. rest. That's right, go ahead. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart uh -huh. and failing of eyes. That's our people, a trembling heart. Timid. Our people are timid in this society. We big and bad with each other. But when it comes to that white man, we timid as hell, right? Go ahead. Read that last part after the uh the trembling heart, read. And failing of eyes. Failing of eyes. Meaning our people are constantly in want of things and it, it just never happens. Oh, I was gonna do A, B, and C. I was going to the league. I was gonna get rich doing this, and our eyes just fail. Of course, there's a there's some of us that do eyes don't fail in certain ex, in, in certain uh, instances, but for the most part, our eyes fail, man. We haven't achieved what we would like to achieve as a collective in this place, right? So read. And sorrow of mind. And what? And sorrow of mind. That makes our people depressed. That's why so many of our people are turning to drugs and alcoholism because we have that sorrow of mind. That's also a part of the curses, depression, right? Read. And thy, and thy life shall hang in doubt uh -huh. before thee. That's right. Our life, our life is never assured, right? We always hang in the, uh, uh, our life is hanging in doubt. Meaning, you, let's say you get a job. It's a nice paying job. Whenever they want you, just fire. Yeah. Then what? Is uncle going to put you back on? See, they, they get fired. They uncle can put up. Some, they know somebody. You did everything you could to get this job, right? You get fired. Damn, I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh. And, then, and then I'm going to tell you how cold Donald Trump is, right? He talking about black and Hispanic uh, unemployment is at an all-time low under his administration. You know why? Because it's something called joblessness. They don't talk about uh, unemployment means you're receiving unemployment, right? Soon as you run out of that, what are you now? You're jobless. Why don't we talk about the jobless? Are the jobless numbers at an all-time low? That's what I want to know. I'm sure it's not that. It's probably a low amount of brothers that's getting a check from you. I, I can take that. But what about joblessness, right? Who's creating jobs so blacks and Hispanics can go and work there, right? But you want to you want to build a wall, but at the same time, all these corporations like to take the illegals and pay them less. But you want to build a wall. How is that going to help your capitalism with undercutting people? You see that? That means you're going to have to start paying people the whole way. They don't want to do that, man. Right? If they did, hey, they're messing with their bottom line, with the money that they take home, right? So read. And thou shalt fear day and night. We shall fear day and night, read. And... And shall have no assurance of thy life. Uh-huh, we shall have no assurance of life. At any moment, the, the core can get pulled, right? A lot of our people work at TSA, right? Every I travel all the airports, I see all of our people at TSA, right? TSA wouldn't get paid for a whole month. You see that? At any moment, they can shut the government down, and then look, you going to work for free. You see that? Now you're going to open it up for three weeks. It's about to be right back shut down. Then what? You're going to be working for free again. No assurity of life. Our people bust their ass to try to get that government job, a TSA job. And you think, oh, I'm going to get that good government job. That's guaranteed money. Yeah, that's until the government shuts down. Then that money, that's not guaranteed no more. Right? Go ahead, King. And also, you know, I'm saying that it might be the same thing in the West Coast as it is in the East. But in Brooklyn, a lot of brothers don't respect to see 21. Yeah, that's you know right. Saying? You already know. That's another. That's another saying. no assurance of life. Yeah. Right? Making, making ages like 21, 25. That's a that's a milestone. Right. Our people look at it like, damn, oh, you made it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You think the white man is thinking about that Esau thinking, oh, yeah, I ain't going to make it to C21. Nah, he, he's thinking about 65, 70. You see what I'm saying? Uh, but you can have a brother, he he don't do nothing. He's not in the streets. He go to school. He, he's totally uh, sailing clean. He could just be walking home, man, wrong block. Boom, catch him. You see what I'm saying? It's that That's the, the, real, the realization of the life that we live. That's how real it is. But that shows that we under the curses, right? That's why um, in Psalm 73 it says the white man, he's not in trouble like other men. He don't go through what we go through, right? He couldn't understand. He can't even empathize with what we got going on, right? So read. And in the morning thou shalt say, would, it, would God it were even? Uh-huh. We can't wait for the day to be over. Then once the day over, we can't wait for the next damn morning, right, read? And then even thou shalt say, would God it were morning? Uh-huh, read on. For the fear of thy heart. Wherewith thou shalt fear, uh -huh. 
and for the sight of thy eyes, which thou shalt see. Yeah, but because of the life that we live and the hell that we're experiencing the sin, we can't wait for a day to be over, right? Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And this, how do we come here? How do we come to this new Egypt? In ships, right? Read. By the way whereof I spoke unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. Read on. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. And here we were sold to our enemies, right? Read. For bond men uh -huh. and bond women. Read on. And no man shall buy you. And no, nobody will come and redeem us. You got this lady. What was the brother just showing? You got the lady talking about she gonna, um, she's running for uh, president and she want to approve $100 billion, uh for reparations. Hey, that's an easy way to not get elected. I'm going to tell you that right now. They're not going to elect you. If you think it's hard for this nigga to get five Bs for a wall, how, you, how hard do you think it's going to be for you to get $100 billion for Nick Rowe? I love, I love to see that happen. It ain't going to happen, man. Ain't no man going to redeem us. Who the world called Christ going to redeem us at the command of his father, the Most High Yahweh in heaven. That's right. right. But with that, we're going to say, hey, all praises to Yahweh. Bye, Yahweh. Kum Yashallah. Kum Yashallah.